more people were talking about this shadow was great hey guys welcome back to my channel this is the makeup I created today using the Jaclyn Hill vault collection I know it's been forever since I've come on here it's just ooh, still having those unmotivated moments those little droopy moments and other things going on that just I just haven't been wanting to upload. The last video I uploaded, I had pre-filmed like so long ago. Like I forgot where I put my memory card. That's how long it's been since I've actually filmed. And thanks to my friend Paris and my boyfriend who have motivated, well, encouraged me to just go back and film a video, do whatever, just to get back get my mojo back so I gotta thank them for that and if you would like to see how I came up with this fall-esque type of eyeshadow look then go ahead and keep on watching thanks hey so welcome back to my channel I know it's been literally forever since I've been on camera I'm just gonna jump right in might as well just dive in and get started and get started on all this again been too long I haven't been on here YouTube makes me happy makeup makes me happy I just need to like keep doing it so here we go so I'm gonna start off with my L'Oreal Hydrogenius literally miss this stuff used it all the time and then I was just trying out new products and just failed to go back to this one sorry bad amber I'm just going to take my sponge and pounce all over my face. I loved this stuff because it hydrated my skin. I feel like it made my skin like look better too. Like after continued use, my skin felt, looked better. And it didn't do anything as far as like mess up my foundation or anything at all like that. My skin is just like so terrible right now. Ugh. Just like really need to like prep it real good. Okay, where is my Jeffy? Where'd you go? To prime my lips, I'm just gonna take the um, Chapstick brand Chapstick in the flavor Candy Cane. It's my favorite. Now, to prep the eyes, I bought this new concealer. It's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is the one that Jeffree Star um, raves about, and I figured if he wears it, then I might as well try it out. It was only like seven something dollars at Ulta. So I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. You know the drill. Quick, quick little blurp. What do you think of this background? I just got it at Walmart. I know there's a big crease down the middle there's nothing I could do about that it's just the texture of the fabric that I got but I thought it would be a nice little change of scenery so just let me know down below if it's like hated if it's loved if you guys don't even care just let me know now to start off with my eyes I'm actually going to take the Jaclyn Hill armed and gorgeous palette I don't really have a set plan of what I want to do. I'm just going to kind of roll with it. Starting off, I think I'm going to go ahead and take the color Axis. Right here. And I'm just going to blend that all in my crease. So there's been a lot of hate and love with these palettes. I This is like my first time using it, so... I'm gonna show you firsthand like what I feel about it. I've had these for a while and I just haven't really dug my brushes into them to really experience it. So far I like this color. It's showing up exactly how I expected it to, so there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna take the color Agent right here. And I'm just going to like define that a little bit more in the crease. I 
I don't really want it on the lid. I really just want it just to define just the crease. I don't know what people are talking about. This shadow is great. I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to take the color Top Secret, the green one in the corner. And I'm going to put that on this outer part. Okay, so this one's not showing up like as strong as I would want it to. I'm like pouncing it into this outer part and when I start to blend it, it just kind of blends away. Now I want to take a like more of like a pencil-y brush and I'm going to define the crease. I'm going to take the color Smooth Criminal right here and I'm going to just define my crease just a little bit better right above the green color. I'm going to take the color Smooth Criminal right there with a pencil brush and I'm going to just define this like outer V just a little bit more. I just want it to be a little darker. I'm going to put more green on the lid. I just, it just didn't look as, didn't look too like special, the green just being on the outer part. Take the color Prowl, which is the darker color right here. I'm going to do the same thing, hoping to get the actual um, darkness that I'm wanting. Going back in with that blending brush. I'm just going to kind of blend this outer part with that agent color. I'm going back in with that green top secret. I'm just going to put it. Okay, I'm going to take the Stila, what is this, the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the color Smoky Storm. And right here where it's blank, I'm just going to add that. A little razzle dazz. I've actually never used these before. It's my first time. Is it weird that I thought I was going to be like more sparkly? Like, I thought I was going to be like, bam, sparkle town. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and take VIP. It's the white shade. And I'm going to pop that on this inner part. Just give me a little bit more of a highlight. Mm, well, making it a little lighter. So I'm just going to place it on top of the glitter eyeshadow just stamping it on top. Wish I didn't do that now. I'm just gonna go back in with that eyeshadow, the Stila one, and see if I can make it a little more bronzy again. I don't really like how white I just made it. So I'm just gonna kind of pat it. So now I'm gonna take the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner and I'm just gonna line my Lash line because I'm going to put some false lashes. I want to hide the band. Now I'm going to take the Maybelline um, Lasting Drama Matte Eyeliner in this the shade Jade Olive. Super beautiful. And I'm just going to line my tight line. Alright, let's put some mascara on. I'm going to take the Maybelline Colossal Cat Eye, that one I always use, and it's like this curve wand. My friend Paris, shout out to Paris Turner, she's here on YouTube. She uses the Maybelline Great Lash, Great Lash the older one. Well, I mean not the older one, but you know the one that's like been around forever. And it has a tipped wand too, like a curved wand. I have to use a waterproof formula because my eyelashes are so straight um, and my eyes water a lot. I don't 
don't know if hers is waterproof, but hers make her lashes look so good. You have to check her out. I will link her latest makeup tutorial down below. I really wish this green was like darker. Like, it just doesn't look right, it being so shiny and then a little green being so light. Let me, I'm gonna take Dark Magic because I know that there's a green in the Dark Magic palette. Yeah, it's called Potion. So I'm gonna take Potion and see if I can, see if it'll show up better. I'm gonna take a flatter brush, maybe I can make it more. Pick me to it that way. Yeah, I feel like that's a better green. I'm gonna take the color Mojo, which is also the dark brown, and see if I can define this other part just a little bit better. Cause it's just it's just not looking the way I want it to look. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take my CoverGirl Outlast Day All Day. I like this because it's matte, but it's not drying. Like I really like the um, Maybelline, like the Fit Me, but the matte formula is just a little too dry for my skin unless I like really hydrate it with something beforehand it like doesn't look right but this one like never fails I don't know why it's not more popular on YouTube I feel like it's a great foundation now that Maybelline fit me like that one looks so good on like I said my friend Paris who does also, who also does YouTube videos but she doesn't just do like beauty she does like um, unsolved mysteries, like different stories like that, truths about things that like, you know, we all don't really know. She shares information like that, like things that I never even knew about. Her channel has some makeup videos, I mean not makeup, um, workout. She's just so diverse and like she's just so natural on camera, like she just, she's just herself and it's just like, it's really nice seeing someone like who's just doing their thing, not caring about what people might think, not trying to be someone they're not on here. It's just really nice. I'm, like I said, I'm going to link her channel down below because she's like such a great person. I've known her since like junior high and you know, we've just been talking a lot lately and she's just been making me feel like really good. She's just a good person. Like she's definitely like a friend you want forever like forever you want in your life I just wish she lived here because she lives all the way in Arizona here I am in California but when she comes down that's it go check her out so this is the makeup revolution concealer I like that it's not like so um crazy heavy like here I am putting it on like a you know <laughs> a lot but when I blend out the sponge it's like it just blends right out doesn't like go into my creases as much it's it doesn't look all cakey on my skin that's definitely something I fear when using concealer and like you know wanting to highlight certain areas like I don't want it to be too cakey and you know what everyone fears this is a good concealer I definitely want to pick this up over the ColourPop or even the Ulta one because it's the cheapest one and hello it's good I just wish they had a shade that was like a little lighter oh, look in the camera and you can see how you like be like what amber that's like stark white but in person it's not as highlighty as I want I'm like that extra. I'm like wanting all my stuff. I want forward, forward. I want to contour on my stuff back. Now I'm going to take the RCMA powder, which it's like so lame. It's like I need to find like a container um, to put this in because like doing it from the lid, it's like so small. I haven't really used the RCMA powder too much. 
So I don't have like the greatest idea of it. I just know that it was like the rage for a while. Oh my god. My god. White shake flashback. Hey. I did not really it was gonna be so um white. How do people with darker complexions use this? If it's so white on me. take the dark magic palette the color potion and just blend it down now going back into the arm and gorgeous I'm gonna take the color axis the yellow one I well not yellow but you know like the golden one dandelion I used in the beginning and I'm just gonna blend it right below it to bronze my face well, to contour and bronze and such, I'm going to take the Flower Beauty Contour and Highlight Palette. And I'm going to take the bronzer color. And this is pigmented, super pigmented. So I'm just going to do like the smallest touch on it. And then go ahead and contour. You gotta get that dub, ladies and gents. I'm gonna take the Milani Romantic Rose blush right here. So pretty. I've used it forever. And using the Morphe PK4 brush, I'm just gonna pop that on my cheeks. The color right here. So I'm just gonna pop that on my cheekbones. Now for lips, I'm going to take the, what is this, what is this, what brand? The Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the color Charmer. I really enjoy this color, but I feel like the wand is just like so stupid. I really don't like the wand. Bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, bong. Now I'm going to set my face using the Maybelline Master effect setting spray Ooh, okay okay so now that I'm back to life now if you want your highlight to be more intense spray your face have your face a little damp and then go ahead and add it I don't want to be like blinding so I'm not gonna do that come a little bit closer baby get it on get it on Cause tonight